Team training, SCAT stands for Small Craft Attack Team. Uh, this is a training I did in the Navy quite a bit. That's USS Preble, my ship that I was on. Uh, Aegis Flight 2, Class Alpha Destroyer. Uh, force protection, this is the this is the definition for force protection, security program designed to protect services, members, civilian employees, family members, facilities and equipment in all locations and situations accomplished through planned and integrated application of combating, of combating terrorism, physical security, operations security, personal protective services as supported by intelligence, counterintelligence and other security program as per uh, <laughs> November Whiskey Papa 3-Tech 07.2 RealTech.A. And then um, one of the things you need to know when you're standing watch is uh, the farthest you can see from the, from the port bridge wing, which is right there, is 18 nautical miles. So until the curvature of the earth. So if you see a contact on the ocean, it can't be further than 18 knots out because the earth curves at that point and you can't see further than that point. Uh, terms you need to know, Vauxhall is the front part of the ship, midships is center, uh, the fantail is back aft. Aft means um, if you're moving forward, you're moving forward. And aft is always behind. Uh, port right here. We're looking at the starboard side. Other side. Port. Yeah, that's starboard. Other side is port. Um, when looking at a contact, when you see a contact, it's 360 degrees behind you. So if you have a contact right here, it's going to be zero four five. Uh, over here, it's going to be at. 315 and so on and so forth. You're going to have, uh, for a normal lookout watch, you're going to have two watches on each of the fantails, I mean each of the uh, bridge wings and the one on the fantail. Um, okay, the main thing you got to look at is right here, and it's generally this one. When reporting an air contact, you have to say whether Okay, in front of you is going to be zero, zero, zero. So piece to the right of you, that contact's are going to be at zero, nine, zero. And then you take your hands for an air contact and put your hand right up here. If you look at the horizon with your hand up right here, say the aircraft is right here, it's going to be position angle one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're going to call in, tell the scat lead, team leader that you're looking at position eight, six, or position angle six at zero nine zero. Four contacts. Crew serve weapons. SCAT team is gonna use primor primarily your 50, your 60. When we go on deployment, you're gonna have the 25 millimeter um, and then the minigun. The minigun is really not practical. Uh, generally only uh, SEAL teams, SWIC teams will use that. Um, okay, the SCAT team stations. Every station you're at, if you're at a 50 cal, it will be, you'll be at either position 501, 502, 503, 504. If you're on the 60s, the 60s are only on the port, port bridge wings, you're going to be at 601 or 602. One always starts on the port side. Uh, 25s are always at midships. That's going to be 251, 252. And then if you're, um, if you're on the minigun, that's going to be Mike Golf 1, Mike Golf 2. And those are going to be right before you go into the port break or starboard break, which is right here behind the 5 inch uh, on the folks. And when doing communications, you always have to call back. So if I'm talking with the SCAT team leader, he'll, he will say to me, SCAT team, this is SCAT team leader, Mount 501. I repeat back to him, Mount 501, how can I help the SCAT team leader? And then he will go on and tell us what he needs to know. After he finishes that, you always have to re repeat the call back. So he tells 
those of you, you know, we have an aircraft at uh, 30, 30, you have to call back and tell them aircraft uh, 30, position angle 2, uh, II, and always repeat finish callbacks with II. Um, Always use the phonetic alphabet, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, so on and so forth. Be professional on the lines, don't, you know, it's not time to joke around. Uh, maintenance on the, on the crew serve weapons, 50 cows, you have to check headspace and timing. It's, it's a little tool that you do. Uh, you have to make sure that everything's on station. If you shoot, He's doing maintenance on the 25. If, he, if you shoot that gun, you'll get to a point where that gun's at a hot barrel and it'll turn red and you have to deep six that barrel. So you have to have the equipment to be able to take that hot barrel off the 25 and then throw it into the ocean, which deep six. Um, what uh, gunner's mates might have you do uh, general, um, general maintenance on it. This is the emblem for fifth fleet. This is a mission of Fifth Fleet. Fifth Fleet is uh, where you would. Fifth Fleet is basically. This is all of Fifth Fleet. The Persian Gulf. This is the Straits that you go through. Um, the Straits of Hormuz. Uh, when you go through these Straits, there's going to be. When you're chopping in, there's going to be a lot of uh, go fast coming in behind you. Uh, you want to be diligent to them, but you let them go. Uh, We'll be in this restricted maneuvering. This is a go fast. They call them a go fast because they go really fast. Uh, when you're on scat, you're two hours off, four hours on, so you're not going to get more than three hours of sleep at night. Um, it'll be over 120 degrees. You'll see sandstorms. Stay hydrated. Um, the NAG 2 SU U.S. Navy sail uh, sailors from coalition boarding team were killed. Four other crew members wounded April 24th as a result of three concurrent waterborne attacks on terminals located in the northern Arabian Gulf, the NAG. Uh, that is ABOT. That's the 80% of Iraq's gross domestic product is pumped through the pipeline, pipelines on the tankers, the Al Basra oil terminal. They say it's 30 miles off the coast, but you can see uh, you can see land from there. Uh, when we're in the nag, we can only go three knots. If we go higher than that, the ship goes, the, the faster we go, the deeper the boat will go, and it's only uh, seven feet deep there. Uh, be vigilant of dows and go fast. Um, the destroyer is the flagship while up there, meaning it's in charge of all operations in the nag. That's an LCAC, and there'll be plenty of, uh, and those are coastal patrol ships. Um, the, after four months in the nag, you'll chop out home. And these are just a bunch of sailors pulling into San Diego. And then, by the 